It may seem odd, but the first tool I'm going to talk to you about, which is the Spotlight feature, it's been around for a while. It's not new to Mountain Lion, uh, but it's probably one of the most underutilized tools by educators uh, that, uh, that is there, and yet it is so useful for a lot of a variety of reasons. Uh, to use Spotlight, we're going to go to the magnifying glass on our toolbar, and we can click and we get a search field. Now, I can search for documents. I could be looking for files of some sort, uh, applications that are on my machine I could be looking for. I could even be looking for an email or different system preferences. So for most of us, what we would do is we would search by the file name or what we think we called it. Uh, another way to do our search is to put in maybe the extension that's at the end um, or some words that I know I used in the content. So I am going to put in here, uh, if I wanted to look for a keynote presentation that I did, I might put the extension in there, which is .key. And then I get oh, a whole bunch of different presentations that are on my machine. And when I hover my cursor arrow over one, it's going to look for it and show me a little preview of that item. So here, that's the first slide. This is my first slide for this Jeopardy keynote, intro to MacBook, and so forth. All right, also it finds different types of things. Times where I've done a web search for a dot key, or what is the thing that comes up the most often? Document, PDF documents, and so forth. Okay. So I'm going to delete that. Uh, another thing I could do is put the content. I could put display. Now, here I get system preferences that shows up. Um, just in general, the word displays must come up. I must have a uh, Java Pix. The word dis display appears in there. I've got some images that involve the word display. Uh, PDF documents as well, web pages that I have uh, been to, even different presentations. I've used the word display in my presentation, so it comes up. And here's another neat feature that a lot of people don't use uh, Spotlight for, and that is as a dictionary. A lot of times you'll put a keyword in there, it will also find the dictionary definition for you as well as the thesaurus. Uh, information for whatever word you put in there. So this could be a great uh, tool for students just to use when they come across a word they don't know and they want to look it up. Uh, another great tool that this is uh, can be used for is actually as a calculator. If I w wanted to say take a uh, paycheck amount, let's say 14512, and I wanted to divide that by 20, Oops, I'm not going to divide that. Let's take a total amount that my salary might be. Let's say 45378 and divide that by 26 pay periods and hit return. I'm going to get an answer in here. Oops, and it's right down here as well where it says calculator it took that amount and it figured out what the answer was so for students this could be really handy if they need a quick calculator although if they needed a quick calculator they could simply put calc in there and it brings up the application and it would bring up the calculator as well